The most exciting time of the year is whenever the American toads come out for their breeding season. It's utter chaos. The American toads at Location 1 have been an important part to Frog Week over the last four years. Over the past four years, we've filmed the epic battles that these toads have had, the deforestation, the drastic weather changes, and everything else in between. This episode focuses on the challenges and the urgency that the male American toads have to face at the breeding ground. It always amazes me whenever I host a nature walk at night and all of the people that are with me say they've heard this noise but never knew it was an American toad. That leads me to believe most people have heard this animal calling, they just didn't know what it was. So here on Frog Week, we're going to introduce you up close and personal to the American toads and what they're doing in the breeding season. The American toad is my favorite animal and it's a target species for PA woods and forests. It always amazes me whenever these animals come out to breed just how many of them congregate in the vernal pools. And all of the toad battles and all of the calling that these animals do, it just amazes me at their persistence and their focus to try and land a mate. These American toads are different compared to all the other toad populations in Frog League 
because they've had to battle a habitat that continuously has changed over the last four years. The deforestation at this location creates a lot of chaos for these toads. Time is starting to run out for some of these male American toads. As they see some of their peers latching on to some of the females and going into Amplexus, they either have two options, keep calling and desperately hope for a mate, or go up and try to dislodge the male on top of the female and create your own moment. So we have a lot of battling ahead of us tonight. Nights like tonight could be the only opportunity that some of these male toads get to mate with females. It's been said that male toads only make it between 2 and 5 years in the wild. However, these females all look to be much older, like they've been doing this for some time. All these females look to be around 4 or 5 years old themselves. The desperation level has gone up for these American toads and that's why you see this epic battle happening between these two male American toads. This is a winner take all situation. If the male that's on top of the female gets dislodged you can all but believe it's over and the male toad that kicks him off will take his place. But if the male that's already on her kicks him off, it's all but sealed the deal that this one will mate with the female. This was one of the most intense battles I've ever seen between two male American toads for the right to mate with this female. It lasted for around a half hour with both male toads getting the upper hand at one point, but all it came down to was the male on top of the female holding his position for as long as he could. It became clear that his strategy was to try and tire out the challenger, trying to keep his head under the water to force him to come up for air, and also to hold on for dear life, and that's, ex that's exactly what the male toad on top of the female did in order to save his position and secure his right to breed with the female. As they say in war, to the victor goes the spoils. The male toad was able to hang on and fend off the challenger, and his reward is fertilizing the eggs of this female as she lays. The battle between these two male American toads was even greater than we thought because after their battle, two days later, a massive snowstorm blew through the northeast and lasted for about a week or two, dumping snow all over the place. If these toads wouldn't have made it when they did, there's a question of whether or not they ever would have. Guys, it is April 19th. It's been snowing for about two days now. I want to show you this as we are filming 
the American Toad documentary and the American Toad episode, two different episodes, five and six. I just, I can't believe this. Now it snowed for four years, like we've got snow at some point in between the wood frog and American Toad breeding season, but I don't think it's ever quite laid like this and been this cold. So whether it be average or whether it be normal or not normal and slightly below, it's just pretty crazy to see this. I mean, look how snowy this is, guys. It looks like I'm filming in January. Back at the first location in Cambria County, after two weeks of waiting, the snow is finally starting to melt, but we're left with empty vernal pools and no calling. Now males do have that yellow, that other toad really did disappear. There is that another one there. Finally, after two weeks of waiting, the American toads emerged in another location in Cambria County. I have this year a little bit, last year I did a lot, yeah, I found a lot of, it depends on the location. All right. Some places they just super easy to, to locate because they can't really hide that well. Uh -huh. Oh, that sounded aggressive. Who's who's getting their rumping on over there? Oh, he's getting kicked. I hope a toad didn't get eaten. <laughs> And action, Mr. Toad. That was beautiful. I think this one's attracted to my light. It keeps coming towards me. Dude, look how nice this is coming out. That's why I brought a tripod out in the field this year. You can look too if you want. Some American toad populations didn't even get the chance to breed before that snowstorm hit. But now that it's over, a lot of the other populations are starting to come out, like what we saw at the first location. And just like that, the American toads back at location one were ready to come back out and start calling for round two. Guys, this was the most epic season that I've ever had filming American toads with all the drama and all of the challenges the weather presented. Not only that, but there was a surprise waiting for me back at my vernal pool. The last wood frog was able to successfully call for a mate after trying for weeks. And it was so epic that I had to include it because this was the very end of the wood frog breeding season and we're headed right into the thick of things with the American toads and some others. 
But guys, there's more Frog Week to come, so please like and subscribe and share with your friends for more content. We'll see you in the next one.